welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, as you can tell by the title, we have slightly a little bit of a different vlog for this Wednesday. You guys know I normally do my weekly vlogs, but as me and Zoe are moving out of Manchester very soon, my life has been a little bit hectic um, with the whole moving back process. So I've not really had chance to like film like weekly vlogs. I feel like it's just been getting too repetitive. I'm just doing the same thing over and over again. So I decided to take a little break of doing the weekly vlogs, but I'm back today just with a full day of vlog. As tonight I'm actually going to see Lizzo with Club London, which is super exciting. So I thought I'd bring you guys along with me. As you know, I'm going to the concert. I'm also going for dinner before. And I thought we'd include a bit of like the getting ready process. So this is a little bit different to what I would normally do. Like I don't really tend to go to concerts very often. So the fact that Club London have invited me to go with them to see Lizzo is absolutely incredible. I literally got this invitation two days ago and we're going to day. I'm super excited and I just feel like it's going to be such a fun night. So I wanted to document this day and share it with you guys. Not gonna lie, it does feel super weird being back filming because I have had like literally two weeks off because of the moving process and my room looks so different. If you have watched previous weekly vlogs then you will know sort of what my room looked like before and compared to now it is definitely a lot more empty. There's still a fair bit of stuff that needs to go home. We've got two more trips left including um, one on Wednesday and then the final move home so you can imagine my room is pretty empty honestly being so crazy I can't believe how soon we're going to be moving it's literally a week away this is the dress that I'm going to be wearing this evening so it is by Club London it's absolutely gorgeous I will link it in the description box as well because I feel like so many people are going to love this dress and it looks so much better on and then they also just sent us a little goodie bag so I'm going to go ahead and open this I have no idea what is inside it I didn't even know I was getting this this literally just came I got my dress this morning and tried it on and luckily it fits so I am actually filming this vlog as I should be getting ready I literally have so much stuff to do and we're meeting Club London at five um, to go for a meal with them beforehand at Kitten in Manchester and I'm super excited about that because I've wanted to go to Kitten for ages and um, I've heard so many people talk about it and it's just been on like my to-do list of places to go but I've not had a chance to go so this is what the box looks like I'm so excited Ooh. oh something fell out <laughs> I see tequila rosé if anybody knows me you know I absolutely love tequila rosé it is like the drink that I get all the time I honestly love tequila rosé I probably might have this before we go it'd be rude not to right and then inside we have loads of little beauty bits so we've got some bits from pixie beauty so we've got a skin tint, we've got a glow mist, we have a crayon, pink one, and we've got a mascara, we've got a lip tint as well. And then we also have some bits from Pixie Skincare. So we've got the Dream Eye Under Eye Patches, we've got a liquid eyeshadow, so this one's actually beauty, and we've got a milky tonic, we have a lip oil, and also an overnight serum. Then we have an eyelash serum, we've also got a little headband for getting ready, and then we have some Mark Hill products as well. I'm obsessed with these. These are so cute. Mark Hill is actually one of my favorite brands for like hairstyle and tools. And look how nice this pink is. This is so cute. The pink barrel, I absolutely love that. So we've got a medium barrel and then obviously the handle and they're both pink. I absolutely love that. It's a shame I'm not gonna be curling my hair tonight because I would have used that. I'm literally just gonna be having my hair in a ponytail. And then we also have some Taming polish and a heat protectant spray. So thank you Club London for sending all that. I feel like I'm gonna use some of these products when I get ready. So guys, I'm out of the shower now. I'm just gonna go ahead and put some pajamas on whilst I get ready. But we're gonna go ahead and start doing my makeup. So it's gonna be a little get ready with me section of the vlog. Normally I don't really feel myself getting ready anymore. So I feel like this will be a nice little change. I'm gonna actually use two of the products that Club London sent me. So I'm gonna go in with the Rose Mist first to just like hydrate my skin after the shower. Ooh, that smells delicious and then I'm gonna go in with the under eye patches I'm gonna put these on and um, whilst I do 
my eyebrows so that they can soak in. My bags have been so bad recently because of all the stress of moving home. I don't think people understand how stressful moving actually can be. Um, like just making sure that you've got everything prepared and making sure that everything's gonna fit in the car. You should have seen the car last week. It was honestly ridiculous. We had so much stuff in it. I'm surprised all that stuff actually fit. Like we were like, there is no way this is gonna fit. But we somehow managed to make it fit. If I have a picture, I'll try and insert it on the screen, but there was literally so much stuff. I couldn't see out my back window, which wasn't ideal, but it kind of had to be done. Otherwise, there is no way we were gonna get everything home. Oh my, I never know which way these are supposed to go, whether they're supposed to go like this way, or you know, like the other way. Do you know what I mean? Like, is the big bit supposed to go on this side and then the little bit? That's how I normally do them, but then I see other people do them the other way and like, it doesn't go quite up to thingy. So maybe I should do it the other way so that side gets a bit more thingy. Cause then I feel like it's covering more of the thing. Let's go ahead and get another one. These are so like slimy. I feel like there's so much product on these. Oh, wrong way. If I had nails on right now, I would not be able to do this. I actually have no nails on at the minute because I bit them all off and I'm waiting till a little bit closer to my birthday to get them done. Okay, so I'm gonna go in and do my eyebrows. I'm using the Unicorn Cosmetics Bare Brows. This stuff is absolutely incredible. You guys know if you follow me on like TikTok and stuff like that, I normally use like the Pink Honey, but ever since I've had this, I think this is better. I honestly do. There's no residue left on my face. I don't have to like wipe around the edges and I feel like it just lasts so much longer. These are like sliding on my face. How do girls get these to stay? Right, stay please. Maybe it's because I'm talking so much. If my makeup goes terrible, I'm blaming it on the fact that I have this tiny little mirror to do my makeup. So that is my eyebrows now done. So I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the face. So these, I'm unfortunately gonna have to come off. I'm sad I didn't actually get to read the benefits of them for very long. I'm gonna go in with two primers. So the primer I'm gonna use is the CRT Hydrating Primer and then also the P. Louise Block O'Clock Primer as well. So I'm just gonna put this Hydrating Primer all around my face. Um, I feel like my skin's been really dry. Recently, I think because of the cold weather, it's just really in need for some hydrating products on the skin. So I'm just applying that and it gives like a really nice base. It also smells delicious. And then I'm gonna go in with the blocker clock and I'm just gonna put this in like my T-zone area. A little bit of this goes a long way. I always end up putting on too much because I underestimate how like little, I underestimate how much I overestimate, what is, what is the right thing that I'm trying to say? I underestimate how far this goes. Does that make sense? Or I underestimate, I don't know what I'm saying. I hope you get what I mean. I'm actually quickly just gonna go in with another eyebrow product. This is the 24 hour brow setter from Benefit. This is what I also use on my brows with the bare brows from Unicorn Cosmetics because my eyebrows just seem to be falling down at the minute. I feel like that might be because I used that spray before I did my eyebrows. Normally I just do it when my face is like clean and I don't have anything on it. Um, so this just helps to lock them into place. Like they will not move with this on top of them. Like this really sticks your brows down. And this was an old favorite of mine. I've recently just rediscovered it and I'm absolutely loving it. So I've put some of that on the top. So hopefully my eyebrows shouldn't move anywhere now. Now we've done the base, I'm gonna go ahead and underpin. Well, I say it's underpinning, but it's also not. It's kind of just like doing my bronzer and everything first and then applying less foundation, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna go in with the Pink Honey BFF bronzer and I'm just gonna take it on a Real Techniques brush. I just dab my brush in a few times, whack it on my hand like this to warm up the product. And then I go ahead and dot it into the places that I want it. And this does look scary at first, but then when we blend it out and we add the foundation and everything else, it comes together. So it's a very trust the process kind of moment. So I just kind of apply it like this and then I never have to go back in to the thing because I have extra on my hand. And then I'm just gonna do my nose. So I just go all the way down my nose and onto my nose and then also bring that onto the eyes, it all blends nicely. And like I said, this does look a little bit crazy at first, 
but once it's blended it all comes together and then this is such a big part for me in my makeup routine i chisel out my jawline so i go like this and that really just helps to snatch the jaw um, and now i'm going to go in with a beauty blender and i'm going to further blend this so this is all like sort of blended make sure i get into that hairline now i'm gonna go ahead and go in with concealer so this is the hmb cosmetics concealer in shade 1.5 and i'm just gonna go ahead and put my concealer in the areas that i want to highlight and also conceal so these dark bags need to go now i like to let my concealer sit for a little bit so it can like dry down a little bit and then it's got a little bit more coverage so whilst that happens i'm gonna go in with my foundation so i'm using the hmb cosmetics soft focus airbrush foundation and mine is in the shade lf 9w i'm just gonna take one pump on the back of my hand um, because I literally do not need a lot because I'm only going to be putting this in the places where I don't have a lot of coverage. Then I'm going to go ahead and blend the concealer. So I do like to use my brush in some places and then other places I will go in with my beauty blender. So like my forehead I'm going to use my brush. And then for my under eyes, I'm going to go in with my beauty blender. So I'm just going to start blending that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in with my bronzer brush. And I'm just going to go back over the areas where I applied the bronzer just to help soften the lines a little bit. Um, especially around my eyes. I feel like I can never really get a really good blend with the beauty blender. Because I feel like the beauty blender is just so big. And then I'm just going to bounce back over. I'm just gonna go in with my beauty blender just on this line just to make it a little less harsh but still chiseled. So as you can see my under eyes and everything look super bright so I'm now gonna quickly go in with blush and then I'm gonna go ahead and set the under eyes. So I think for blush today I'm gonna go in with Peach of My Heart from P. Louise. It's one of my favourites. It's the one that I reach for the most often out of the three shades that I do have. So what I like to do is just take a little brush like this, dab it into the little poofy thing and also that poofy thing can actually come off. I quite like the poofy thing. Some people I know don't like it um, and then I just tap some onto my hand. My hand ends up looking like a palette by the end of it and I'm just going to tap this onto my cheeks. So that is what the blush looks like. It's honestly so dreamy it literally just melts into the skin i'm now gonna go in with some loose powder to set under my eyes this is the laura mercier translucent setting powder and i'm gonna use my trigwell powder puff i kind of wish i got the mini one because this one is a little bit big um for under my eyes but before i go ahead and do that i'm just gonna make sure that we have no creasing under these eyes because we don't want to set any creasing in place well powder puff you literally do not need loads a little goes a long way and I'm just gonna start up my nose so I get like a bit of the product off before I go right under my eyes. Come up. I always find if I start at the nose and then come up, I have less product going underneath my eyes so it stops it looking cakey. Um, but it just looks so flawless. Like, if you've not tried a Trigwell powder puff yet, what are you doing honestly it changed the game and then i'm just gonna go in with this powder that is on my arm and i'm just gonna powder the areas that i highlighted earlier so like my chin my nose and my forehead now i'm gonna go ahead and set the rest of my face with the charlotte tilby powder i'm just gonna lightly dust this over i like to do this so that then when i do apply a little bit of bronzer and blush it doesn't like stick all funny and weird and i'll also take this down my neck because we do have product down my neck because, you know, I'm pale at the minute. <laughs> then once I've done that, I sort of decide whether I think I need a little bit of bronzer or not. I think I am going to go in with just a little bit. So I'm going in with the Hoola Caramel. I absolutely love this stuff. I tried to use the Hoola Normal the other day when I was at home to do my makeup. Because I left my makeup that I use every single day here. Um, and it just it just isn't the same. The Hoola Caramel just wins for me. It's so much nicer. Um, so I'm just going to lightly dust that onto my cheeks just to give back a little bit and just dust that around my face i'm also gonna dust that 
over my nose as well. And sometimes I do like to go over my blush, but I don't think I'm gonna today because I think it is giving enough for what I want. So I'm now gonna go in with my little freckle pen and I'm gonna draw back in my freckles. Um, there's a few that are quite like prominent on my face normally. So I just like to accentuate them once again. So like I have one like in the corner of my lip. I have one like down here, some like back here. So I just like to do them, nothing too crazy. That is my freckles. You might not even be able to see them because of the light, but that is what I do. And now I'm gonna go ahead and set my face. I'm gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless finish setting spray this is the best setting spray ever it's so expensive though um and with the amount i use i really shouldn't use this much but it, there's just no other setting spray that works like this i've tried numerous and i always end up going back to this i did used to be an urban decay all night a setting spray kind of girl but ever since discovering this a few years ago she's just the best so i'm gonna literally drench my face and the key as well is making sure you get it under your eyes. If you find that you've put too much powder on, setting spray is gonna help you out. So I just like to go over my eyes a little bit because then that helps to get rid of the extra powder. It melts everything into place and it just, it just looks incredible. Whilst this is setting into my face and drying, I actually like to pack away some of my makeup so it's not just all over my floor. I have actually ripped my makeup bag recently. This is just one that I took on my travels with me to Oz. So I'm not surprised that it is broken because it has been through hell. So now that that is all set, I'm gonna go in with my Refi brow pencil and I'm gonna fill in my eyebrows. I always get questions on what I use in my eyebrows. So this is kind of it. This is kind of the tutorial in a way. I literally just underline my eyebrows on both sides and then just fill in the gaps and then brush through the product. It's literally as simple as that. I don't use loads of products. I don't use a pomade or anything like that. It's literally just a brow pencil. Some people might look like my eyebrows and that's fine. This is just kind of what works for me and it's just quick. It's easy. I can't be bothered spending ages on my eyebrows if I'm honest. My eyebrows is my least favorite part of my makeup routine. I just find them so boring. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So that is my eyebrows done. As you will have seen, it literally didn't take me very long. I feel like I've actually had a really good eyebrow day today. Sometimes it takes me longer than that, but that is literally just it, plain and simple. Just a little bit of product. And I'm now gonna go back in with that 24 hour brow setter. Just apply a little bit more because where I've obviously combed the product through my hair will have disturbed the hairs a little bit. And I just wanna make sure that they do not move all night. I could be hot and sweaty later when I'm dancing to Lizzo. So I just wanna make sure that they are in place and they just stay all night long. Now I'm gonna go in with eyeshadow and because my dress is like bright and colorful, I'm just gonna do like a really simple neutral eye. I don't wanna do anything too fancy because I don't wanna have too much going on with my face and it clash with my dress. So I'm just taking a little brown eyeshadow and I'm just putting this through my crease just to warm up. I also bring this down into my nose contour as well and this just helps everything blend really nicely together. And then I'm also just gonna tap this onto my outer corner. I am gonna deepen my outer corner slightly with another eyeshadow, but like I said, this is gonna be super simple, nothing too crazy. I just like to make sure that this is all blended out. It's a very similar shade to my bronzer, so it all mixes very well together. And then I'm just gonna take a little smaller brush. I'm gonna take a darker shade, so this was the shade that I used the first time, this one here. And I'm now gonna go in with this shade over here. I'm just gonna tap off the excess and then I'm literally just gonna apply this into the corner of my eye. And then going back in with this brush, I'm just gonna help to blend them two together. I'm gonna go back in with that lighter shade and I'm gonna run that just slightly under my eyes as well so that it all blends nicely together just like so and then going back in with a little bit more of that darker just to deepen it just a little bit more and i'm just kind of tapping this as well so the product doesn't move too much it just sort of stays in the area where i put it and i'm just slowly feathering that towards the center then i'm just going to go in with like a little flat brush and i'm just going to take this shade here which is like similar to like my skin color in a way and i'm just going to lightly tap 
over that front section so we've got a little bit of lightness there we have it and now i'm going to go ahead and do some eyeliner but i'm going to do it with eyeshadow so i just quickly need to find my brush because i didn't keep that out <laughs> i'm going to take this shade here and then i'm just going to draw my wing with the eyeshadow just like so and obviously because it's eyeshadow it's a lot softer it's not too harsh um but they're pretty even i would say so i mean some people might disagree but you know just like eyebrows they're sisters, not twins. Then I'm going to go in with a little bit of highlight. So I'm just going to take this and I'm going to put this right in my inner corner. And then I'm going to apply that on the bridge of my nose as well. A little bit here. So I'll put onto my chin. And then for my cheeks, I use a different product. So yeah, that is that. I might just put a little bit of this just under... So yeah, that is the eyes. I'm now going to go ahead and apply some mascara. I actually don't have any eyelash curlers. Um, I really should invest in getting some, but I do love a lash lift and I've not had my lashes lifted in a while. I actually am planning on getting that done for my birthday. I'm going to film like a birthday glow up video, I think. So I'm just going to go in with the Better Than Sex Mascara Waterproof version because this version is so much better. I always get this on my eyelid, might I just add as well. So if you get it on your eyelid too, don't worry about it because I always do and I just leave it. So I am going to go in with another few coats, but whilst this dries, I'm going to go ahead and move on to my lips. So I'm going to go in with the Primark Lip Pencil in the shade Desert Sands. I did want to use my Morphe Sweet Tea lip liner, but I cannot seem to find it anywhere. So this is going to have to do, however, it's going to need a sharpen. I just realised I didn't take this concealer off my lips. <laughs> So this is my lip outline. I also do sort of fill in the centre a little bit, but then I'm going to go back in with the P. Louise The Cheek Fit Blush with the same brush as earlier, and I'm just going to dab this into the centre of my lips, just so it ties in cohesively with my cheeks. It'll do. And then I actually like to spray a little bit of setting spray over my lips. Someone recommended this to me on a TikTok Live to help with the longevity of my lipstick. Um, I always just feel like it just comes off. Maybe it's because I talk so much. I don't really know, but it does just seem to slide around and just come off really quick. My lips are also really dry at the minute, so I think I am going to apply a gloss tonight, but I can't seem to find the lip gloss that I want, um, which is really annoying, but I'm going to go ahead and spray this. So I do need to shut up, otherwise I'm going to be testing it. And then to finish off, I'm going to go in with the Beauty Crop Glow Milk on the back of my hand and then just take in my Beauty Blender. I'm going to dab that in and then I'm going to lightly just glaze that over the tops of my cheeks. And then this is the finished makeup look for this evening. So I'm now going to go ahead and do my hair. I think I'm going to do this off camera because my battery is dying and I do need that to charge. Uh, but I will come back and show you guys what my hair looks like. It's probably literally going to be the same as this. I'm probably just going to sort this out a little bit or maybe I'll have like a plait instead so it's a little bit tidier um, and then we'll put on the outfit and everything and then we will go so guys i am now ready i'll quickly show you guys my outfit i've done my hair it went quite well i actually ended up using the mark hill tame away um, product that came in the club london like gift package earlier and i actually really really like it i feel like it's really helped to slick my hair back i also used it in my plait as well to sort of tame the flyaways that i would usually have the only thing that i'm finding is my plait ends up staying like this so i keep having to like pull it down um but if i go ahead and pop you guys over here sorry the lighting is really not the best um and you can see the full outfit so this is what i look like i've got knee-high boots on um, you guys are literally like a century away right now, so I have no idea how good I look. But yeah, this is what I'm wearing. I'm going to go ahead, take some pictures, pack my bag, and then we're going to go. So guys, I'm now here. This is the little table set up. How cute. It's absolutely gorgeous. I've got Sophie sat next to me. And it's there. <laughs> 
And this is the little food menu for the evening. So I'm super excited. So I actually do have a different menu to everybody else because I actually don't eat red meat or fish. Um, other than like the off food things, which is a lot easier for me to say I don't eat red meat and fish when I come to like a fancy restaurant or dinner. Um, because it's a little bit easier than me being awkward on the day. So this is my menu. This here is the normal menu. So if you guys are like vegetarian or don't eat meat or anything, they do have other options as well. So I'm excited to try that. There is stuff on here that I would never normally order, but I'm definitely going to give it a go and see what I like. So yeah, very excited. We actually are the first ones here, which we were surprised about because we're actually late. It's um, half past. Yeah, we were supposed to be at like quarter past. Also, guys, I forgot to say, when I walked in, I waved at some girls thinking they were the girls from Club London and they weren't. But the girls waved back. Oh, so, so you waved. I thought yeah. they waved. No, I waved. But they were staring at me, so I figured, oh, they must be looking at us, being like, well, oh, they're coming. So then I waved and then they waved back. And then I struggled to open them the door. Wow. It just looks like you're nice. Like, wave. how hard did you open the door? Well, you were the one who did it. I was like, full body wear. And then the man came over and opened it. And I was like, that's also him. And he was like, yeah, because it's the time for us to open. I was like, oh. Strong man. <laughs> amazing night honestly that was absolutely incredible Lizzo and all her dancers and her whole production team her band literally everyone was so talented and just ran the show so perfectly there was so much energy it was hands down one of the best concerts that I've ever been to like she just had so much energy it was immaculate and I've had such a great night like I just said but I am now home and I'm gonna go ahead and pop myself into bed I just want to say a huge thank you to Club London for actually taking us because it was honestly just like the best night ever but yeah that is all I will chat to you guys very very soon in another video bye